Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Saturday, April 30th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday for worship at 1030 a.m. My scripture today is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 12. I perceive that there is nothing better for them than to be joyful and to do good as long as they live. This is the word of the Lord. Once again, there is a psychological study that's gaining ground talking about what are the secrets to happiness. Yes, I have used some of this research before, but this is a new study and it does always make me smile that the factors that are identified are so consistently in alignment with what the Lord teaches us. Well, let's see where this study comes out. If you want to be happy, be kind and gentle with yourself and others. Well, in other words, be humble. Be forgiving, be open, be kind. Yes, all biblical imperatives. Number two, try something new. Sing a new song, says the Lord. Now, this one doesn't feature so much biblically exercise. And of course, we are taught by the Bible that our bodies are a temple and that we should respect them. So that is consistent as well. But the most important factor which separates people who are happy from those who are not is, well, they call it spiritual self-reflection slash meditation. Boy, is it really that hard for them to say prayer? <laughs> well, if we have a consistent prayer life, if we do contemplate, meditate, if we're spiritually connected, we will live happier lives. And there you go. The Bible once again leads the way, the words of Jesus Christ. If we follow him and we enjoy those sweet and beautiful words, then we will be happy if we're humble, if we're kind, if we're forgiving, and if our lives are prayerful. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you call us to live abundant lives. You want us to be happy. And we are grateful that our limited minds are finally catching up with the very words of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.